Hi and welcome back. The Arduino, even though it can interact with its environment, can't do anything at all without access to sensors and all kinds of components. And unlike most computers you are used to, it cannot tell the time. Although knowing the time is not needed in many applications, and indeed we have not really needed it up to now, sooner or later you will come across a project where knowing the time is a requirement. It is true that the Arduino has a built-in sense for time. It knows how much time has passed since it started executing a program. They can use the millis function to get a time that represents this time in milliseconds. A similar function is micros, and it does the same thing as millis, except that it reports the elapsed time in microseconds instead of milliseconds. There are also the time-related functions delay and delay microseconds, which add a delay in your program, the first in milliseconds and the second in microseconds. In this demo, I'll show you how to use a typical real-time clock with your Arduino. I will be using the DF Robot TS1307 RTC Breakout, which I purchased on eBay for around $4. This device, like many others, is based on the popular DS1307 Clock IC, and it can do anything you would expect a good clock can do. It counts seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, goes up to 2100 and compensates for leap years. It also consumes very little power, 500 nanoamps, which when using the onboard battery gives the device life of around five years. Typically, the serial clock for the IC2 uh, bus goes to analog pin five. So A5 is marked on my uh, Arduino Uno board. And then the data pin, the orange wire, goes to the A4, so analog pin 4. This is specifically for the Arduino Uno. Other boards have got uh, other pinouts for the IC2 interface. I'm going to show you those in a minute. And power. That's all I need to do for now. Let's uh, upload this. Uh, well, plug it in first. And upload the sketch. Make sure it works and then have a look through the sketch. Whoops, I need to select the appropriate serial port. Yeah, make that USB. The right monitor. All right, so you can see that because I had removed the battery, the clock initially, I'll stop it, I'll stop the auto scroll here. The clock initially had this time as default. Once uh, the board was reset, uh, it was set to this time. So then uh, the rest of the sketch just does some calculations. So days since uh, the 1st of January, 1970, uh, and then it just adds some days and seconds and calculates a new time. Let's have a look at how it works. 